Traveling and fishing has been a dream of mine since I picked up my very first rod and reel. My best friend Darian shares that exact same dream and for as long as we've known each other, he has told me stories about all the amazing fishing that New Brunswick has to offer. After many years of dreaming about it, we spontaneously decided to pack our gear, hook up the boat, and head east for New Brunswick. Little did we know that what we were about to experience on our journey was beyond anything that we could have ever imagined. Throughout this eight day journey, we set out with one simple goal in mind, catch fish. Join us as we embark on our trip all across New Brunswick in search of as many amazing species that we can encounter. This is background that that's the background we are in New Brunswick Fredericton and tomorrow we're venturing off to the Miramichi somewhere over there I think and we're gonna be looking for some nice stripes hopefully we find lots of them and it's like a two hour and 15 minute drive from my grandparents house so we're gonna get a motel there and we're gonna stay there for a couple nights and like three days of back-to-back -back all day fishing for stripers and then come back here and continue our journey across uh, New Brunswick exploring fishing and I've never done this before. I come down to visit family and a couple days of fishing but now we're gonna be with the boat. We brought the boat and it's gonna be fishing like every day so I can't wait. So like Darian is saying guys, we arrived in New Brunswick and we're super excited to finally hit the water tomorrow morning after probably around 10 hours of driving. We made it here to Darian's grandparents place. We're gonna go inside, eat some good food and then we might head out for a little bit of fishing this evening. But tomorrow is where the real fishing starts. We're gonna be getting up bright and early around 4 a.m. to drive two hours to Miramichi to drop the boat in and catch some stripers. So we're super excited. So we're gonna be heading in to eat now. We're gonna be grabbing our fishing stuff and heading down the river to hopefully catch our first New Brunswick fish of the trip. First fish of our 2022 New Brunswick trip. A beautiful bronze back from the St. John River. Took the drop shot right under the culvert and we're gonna go ahead and get this guy back so that he can grow and go back to protecting his bed. I think that's what he was doing. So we're gonna get him back. Have you had any more hits? We're already losing light, eh? Damn. Hopefully we get another one. This is just the beginning anyway. This water looks like the most smallmouthy water I've fished since Kenora. Yeah, nice bass, very nice bass. It's, it's really hard to get down here. Yeah. Very nice fish. Ooh, my first New Brunswick smallie pulling so hard. I hope I don't lose it. Kind of happy now that I had the SLX, oh nice fish. I don't know how I'm gonna land him. How'd you land yours? So powerful. I brought him right down to your side there. Holy, look at that fish. It's a gorgeous smallie. I'm gonna try to get him in front. Oh my God, they dog you here. My wrist is hurting. All right, get over here. Oh, come here. Got him. First New Brunswick Smalley of the trip for me. It's not exactly what we're here to target in the sense the purpose of this trip is stripers mainly, but you can't pass up an opportunity to catch some awesome, awesome bass. That's it. Oh, that was awesome. Maybe we get one more, but we're gonna be calling it a night soon and we'll be getting striper fishing early in the morning.
It's B roll. Camera bag and drone has to be accessible. Get uh, 70 to 200 on that, like, just in case that happens again. That was so cool. So Darian and I finally made it to the mighty Miramichi. It's right behind me as we speak. And we're at one of the launches that we were recommended. Apparently the striper should be pretty much straight out from the launch and we're gonna be getting the boat in and hopefully we get on some stripers this morning. But man, what a drive. We took a two hour drive from where we were staying at Darian's grandparents' place. We managed to see some awesome scenery and we got to see that bonus moose. How cool was that? I've only seen a few moose in my life, but this was the first time that I ever had a drone to follow them into the forest. That for me, as of right now, is the highlight of the trip. If we get some big stripers, that'll be even better on top of it, but it is just day one yesterday was a travel day so it's technically day one today's day two but this is the first full day that we're going to be spending here in new brunswick and i can't wait to get fishing you know what they say when in rome just to see huh? Maybe give us some information. Either I just got hit or I bumped rocks, but bumping rocks seems highly unlikely. Probably nothing, because I don't think you have it switched to perspective mode on the... Oh, I just got hit. Oh, striper on. Just ate the bait. He ate the tail. I watched him eat it. Can't believe I just got bit. Wasn't a bad size. Maybe 25 inch, I don't know. We got Mega Life set up. We're gonna be looking for schools of bait fish, schools of stripers, hopefully. We'll see. Bobby was saying we could troll, so maybe like we'll idle with Mega Live and troll. Here, pull up your bait. All right, well, things didn't really go as planned first spot of the day ended up being a bust. We fished for only like about an hour. We didn't do much fishing. We did a bit of trolling, tried to find schools of bait fish, schools of stripers with Mega Live. Uh, wind started picking up like crazy. And we got some intel that the fish have moved quite a bit up river, which is why we haven't found them. They're about 20 kilometers up river from where we are apparently. So that's where we're heading. We got the boat back on the trailer and we're gonna be heading there right now to hopefully get some stripers. All right, well, we made it to spot number two. As you can see behind me, I got the Parks Landing boat launch. And here we actually see quite a few boats out on the water, maybe four or five boats out on the water. We just talked to some locals. They got eight or so this morning, so that's a pretty good sign. Hopefully we can get a few here. It seems the information that we fed was good info. So Darian's turning the car around and he's gonna be putting the boat in the water now and we're gonna go catch some stripers. Can't wait. He is right on cue. The wind has definitely picked up a lot. Check this out. I'm sure you could hear it. That's some crazy wind right now. Full force into the rocks? Give it a push, there's no rocks. I mean, it's gravel. Pebbles. It's Give scratch it paint. It'll scratch my beautiful paint. Don't let my motor get in the gravel, huh? It's a heavy boat. Not as heavy as it is a Zach. Oh, I got wet. I got wet. 
What do you mean? Thank you, sir. You're welcome, I'll sir. I'll take this. Let's go catch some stripers. We're here. First cast on the new spot. I'm just casting randomly. Not know what I'm doing. There we go, fish. First striper of the trip, guys. Oh, he choked it. First one of the trip. Dude, that's ridiculous. That's a nice one too. First striper of the trip. Not a giant at all, but a gorgeous first fish. We're gonna be keeping this guy for Darian's grandparents since it's the first one of the day. But the rest of them, we're gonna be getting right back. I just got hit right next to the boat. And he's not my line. He's dead. Oh yeah, boat side. Boat flip. Hello guys. Right back. Fortunately, it wasn't recording. Oh, there we go. Not the ones we're here for, but... What's that, number five? Yep. Number five of the day. Not a bad fish at all. It's been tough so far, but... I think we're gonna turn things around here. It is only day one of striper fishing. We're probably gonna do two more days depending on how that was today. 11. 11? You had two ones, that makes 11. I went like this? Yeah. Oh, that's I was 11. confused. Okay, let's go catch more fish. This is my biggest one yet. We're working. <laughs> we're trying to find fish. It's not easy. Uh, this is number six. Zach just got his number five, actually. So we're gonna get this guy back and find some more fish. Big, big? Absolute. Giant, and I had this guy. All right, there we go. Big mama lake trout. I'll lose him. There's a bigger one following it. Ooh, Darian just catch his biggest one. We are on a hot bite right now. I just put the other one back, and number nine. They just keep biting, so we're gonna keep casting. We're we're hoping for a big fish. It's coming. I can feel it. So, see ya, boy or girl. I think that's actually the biggest one yet. Near. Freaking water skiing. What do you guys think of that? Number 13, we're looking for bigger. We're getting there, I think. Terrible. Big, this is over 30. You gonna land them? That's big. Big net? I wanna break your rod. Oh no, oh no. That's a giant. That's a giant. Holy slub. Big what fish. A slub. 32 and a half. Nose. The tail, 32 and a half. Show it again. <laughs> I'm so so he, is, so good. he is milking all over the boat. He eh? I wonder where the female is. That's insane. Wow. <laughs> That's he it. He was dude. faking it. <laughs> good shit, dude. He seems so tired. Okay, me I want one. <gasps> oh, we didn't weigh it. Man, I so could have weighed it. I brought my scale. I'm glad to know we're on the same page, Darian Savage. Are you ready? First cast in the hot zone with the Z-Man Sluggo type bait. I know it's bear roll. I mean alligator roll. I mean crocodile. Big one, I think. Hooked up on the slug. I don't know if he's big. I don't think so. I think it's my biggest. Maybe not. We have double header right now. All right, Darian's got a fish. I got a fish. Oh, it felt good on the slug. Okay. Oops. Okay, get in here, buddy. Oh, he choked it. They feel so much bigger when they're on the slug. Oh, slug fish felt so good, Darian. kidding me? Pull my pants down. This is Disney Channel. There we go. Awesome. Awesome. Oh, wow. They dog you. It's definitely my fattest. He's a porker. Look how porky he is. Yeah? Double, Double headers. Double header stripers. Get in here. Oh, get in here. Porker. Oh, it's oh, definitely my heaviest. He's so fat. Here, 
This is my biggest of the day. Definitely not a giant. It's fat. Look at that fatty. I don't know if this is a female full of eggs or something, but. It's a pork tender one. It's a beautiful fish. Look at those colors. Goodbye. More slug fish to come. So guys, I just want to show you. Obviously, you've been watching how stacked these fish are. I'm going to try with the slug go. I want to get a nice clean hook set for you guys on camera. They've been crushing the slug go almost every cast. I say slug go with this product by Z man. So I'm just doing long pulls like this. Oh, I missed him. Oh my God. That's funny. Ready, Darian? I'm ready, Zach. My God. Instant. As soon as it hits the water. <laughs> oh yes, sir. Number 21. Oh my God. Boat flip the striper. Oh, he's not done. He's longer than the one you just caught. Maybe. Okay, 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 okay. Was that 21 you said? 21. Beautiful striper. One more sluggo. That's how we do it. One more sluggo fish. And then I get a turn. And then you get a turn. Dude, it's so fun. As soon as it hits the water. They're absolutely slapping the sluggo. I think it's high tide. I keep calling it a sluggo, but this product's actually by Z-Man. I don't know what it actually is it's called. Last Tech though. A Last Tech. Yeah. I've been catching every fish on the exact same plastic without it breaking. It's pretty sweet. My bait's up. Oh, we're not spot locked. Go to the buoy. Ah. Actually, I should put a slug on my compri. It's really fun. What's on my compri right now? I don't know. Swim bait. All you have to do is rig one up. Like the hook. I already have the hook, there. right? Then they want it how Zach, show us. Pull, 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 set, pull, set. set. <laughs> oh yeah. Might be better. I know I keep saying that. I feel like Darian. It's okay, I was saying it before. Oh man, they're just so strong. Pretty amazing. I'd say he's not better. He's dinker. 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 Huh? dinker. Oh, he's like the average. A little below average. That's what my girlfriend says about me. Get in here, buddy. Dinker! Of sorts. Relax. 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 Okay. Get low. How come he's got hook and bottom of lip? I don't know how to do. That's what he's munching. Oh, I don't know how he got in the bottom lip. Cookie cutter again. Feels like the exact same fish I just caught. We'll put it back. There in turn. Do like pulls. Can't wait to see him get crushed. It's like uh, largey fishing on her docks. It, is. it feels the same. Get it up at a 45. Beauty. I'm gonna get smoked. <laughs> I was not ready. I gave one pull. One pull. <laughs> no, that was so good. <laughs> Your reaction was so good. <laughs> Don't get him in the rope, little guy. <laughs> so, so good. Oh, nice fish, dude, little guy. Nice. All right. Number That's, 23? I don't know, dude. I'm starting to lose I think count. it's 23. Okay. Oh my god. They're gonna just toss this fish back because they're busting over there. Get in there. Oh my god, they're everywhere. They're hot and horny, baby! Look at them over there. Oh, they're in down there. We have a backlash. Instant. <laughs> Instant. I couldn't even get my jacket on. Watch the swat stick. Alright, quickly pop them off. 24. 24. Get him back. It's fun? This is a little fun. <laughs> it's so fun. Alright. Time to get back in there with the slugs. The slugs are crushing him right now. It's like as soon as it hits the water, pull, 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 pull. Hook set maybe? Not. It's catching a lot of the small ones though. I just got hit. 
Oh, you missed one too? We almost doubled up. I got one. Nice. It's not a small one. It's not a big one, that's for sure. It's not Darien's. It's hard to beat Darien's now. I want one like Darien's though. Oh man, Scopro situation is getting messy. 25 in. Eh? All right, we're gonna do a quick release on this guy. Darren's about to hook up. Behave. Gone. Amazing, he splashed me in the face. It is so wet, guys. Luckily, we have our striker suits to keep us dry. Without them, I don't know what we'd be doing. I would love a big fish though. I'm gonna try casting in another area, sort of. Oh, nice one. Nice one. Maybe. I think that's my biggest so far. Oh, man. Let me see. What do you think, Darren? Is big net or small net? Oh, my God. Get a giant I know. That's my biggest. Maybe. What do you think? Holy, I'm gonna bump this guy quick. Hold up, I'm just gonna lift him. Close. Not even close, boys. Look at that fish. Holy, oh, that's so by far my biggest. Oh yes, on the slug. Number 26, my biggest of the day. We should get a quick bump on this guy. You wanna pass me the bump board there? 28? 28 inch. 28 inch. 28 inch, striper. Gonna get a quick pick and get it back. So sick, dude. Not as big as yours, but holy shit, Only that was fun. Shy. That was so fun. Oh my god. 26. How many can we hit before we get off? Dude, today is not even close to over. It's absolutely crazy. My fingers, look at my thumb. That's messed up. That's messed up. Everything's messed up right now. We're soaked, but we're catching fish. It is so fun. Day one of striper fishing in New Brunswick. Couldn't be any better. And that was my first cast in a different spot. I cast this straight out the front of the boat, like there. You got one on the fly. Oh, dude, my hand is cramping from holding him. I don't think you need to cast very far, dude. Let me try quick. I'm sure they're hitting anything right now. I believe it. Is this a 10 footer? Here we go. All right, we're going to try to get one on the fly rod. Quick. That was a terrible cast. Still can catch a fish though. Got one. Little guy, but crushed it. My first striper on the fly. That's his idea. Oh, it's the smallest one to date of the day so far. Little guy, but first striper on the fly. That's crazy. I don't want to go. <laughs> you want to do it so bad. Dude, it looks so fun on the fly. You want to unhook it for me too? Yeah. All right. I need to keep throwing the slug. Today ended up being crazy. I can't believe today turned around like this. First the moose in the morning, now a freaking sleigh fest. Dude, we should pop a big streamer out there. I should have brought my flies. That's my fish on the fly. First, first striper on the fly. Alright. I want one on the fly. Big one? Look big. That's it, dude. Okay, I'll, I'll film after. Okay, quick double header. Keep it healthy. Sure he wasn't big? I do want to do the camera. I just hate that it's pouring. I can't pull my phone out in this either. <laughs> Double header. <laughs> Little guy. I know. Mine was on the fly. <sighs> I can't put all these fish in the video. There's no way. Darian's first striper on the fly. First one, maybe? On the fly rod, so fun. We're gonna bust out the big camera and get another one. Let's do it. Get him back. We are getting poured on. Yeah, the lens is soaked. We're soaked. It's absolutely crazy. Shout out to Striker for the suits. Darren's about to get smoked right here. This is going to be epic. There we go. Little guy, but they run. Crushed you. So much fun. The small ones like the flies, the big ones are eating the bigger baits, which it sort of makes sense, but 
Like these are the smallest fish we've seen. This is the second smallest of the day. It might be smaller than yours. The lens is so wet right now. Creating all kinds of haze. Pull him up and quickly show him to the camera. Feisty little guy on the pike fly right in the corner of the mouth. That's out like that. And we're gonna go ahead and get her back. That's how you catch a straight bass on a fly, eh? <laughs> While the rain ended up getting really bad, but we had a fantastic day of striper fishing and we just checked into our motel for the night. We're gonna be staying here for two nights. We're gonna be doing a bit of striper fishing tomorrow. We're not sure just yet when we're gonna be heading out, but you can bet that we're gonna be getting out in search of hopefully some bigger stripers than we caught today. Darian caught a nice 32 and a half inch striper. My biggest ended up being 28, but if we can both get fish over 30 inches tomorrow, that'll be awesome. So that's it for day one and day two. Couldn't be a better start to this trip. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and drop a like and leave a comment down below for what your favorite part of the video was. You can count on there being many, many videos to come on our New Brunswick trip. We're gonna be doing a few more days of striper fishing and then we're gonna be seeing what else we can check off our list on this trip. So as of right now, the only way that you guys can support the channel is by clicking that subscribe button. And on that note, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. That might be my biggest yet, actually. My biggest striper of the trip so far. And my thumbs and my hands are completely killing me right now. What a gorgeous fish. They pull so hard. Man, my hands are so sore, or my thumbs. I'm in pain.